semifinal. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. Taking a look at Baltimore, a successful outing in game one has them right where they want to be with a chance here, guys, to take game two on their home court. History tells us when you can win the first two games of a series, it's not 100% certain, but you give yourself a pretty decisive edge in the series. And the Clippers starting five. They've got Rain Man. ABC is out there with Captain Clutch, and it's Big Daddy, and it's Underwood in at the three spot. Now, here's Stevenson. Here's Williams, and denied. He sends it right off the glass. And out of bounds as Baltimore gains possession. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in overdrive. Here is Stevenson. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And a wide open look for Jordan. Connects from three-point range. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Here's Rain Man. Got a hand on it. Let's it go from deep. And it's Jordan. That time on the assist by Williams. And that's now six points for Jordan. Rain Man passes to Big Daddy. From 15 feet away. Fires for three. The shot, no good. And Baltimore going the other way now. Williams for three. No good that time. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. That one goes. Count it. Oh, don't forget about this fella for a second. He is the definition of dangerous. To the inside. And then Kemp slams it in. Yeah, once he gets to the rim, it, it's lights out. Kemp, just too much power and explosive. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. Great opportunity for a three-point play. The Clippers shooting their first free throw tonight. first just under two and a half minutes played so far Stevenson kicks to Jordan poked away here's Big Daddy now Stevenson Williams inside the line that one a little long. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. The three. Rebound by Williams. Rain Man's gone two for five tonight. Williams dishes to Stevenson. Back to Williams. That's good, and it's Stevenson with the assist. That's not who they want guarding him. On side this match is just too big. All he has to do is just keep attacking the rim. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. They come into this game after losing on Saturday. Well, they made a few key shots, but missed many more. It was a rough night for them offensively. Well, you know, the ball movement was lacking. And you know, things got stagnant. That's why their offense looked so off. Looking at who's out there now for Baltimore. Magicians checked in for Williams. Ingram comes in for Sean Kemp. Jordan, he's checked in for Jordan. And it's slim in for Doc. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Here's Big Daddy. Yep, it counts. Big Daddy's got eight points. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive load. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make them pay. The Clippers in the lead. Here's Flash. Pass to Big Daddy. 
A three ball. Good on the triple. Three points. He's got 11. Some players might wear down during this kind of run. He's only getting struck. Tipped away. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And it's the Clippers with the ball. Los Angeles leading by five. Here's lights out. Here's baddest one. Now, here's Junior. Defense is right there. Basket counts. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Here are the Barons. Cloak loose. And it's going to be out of bounds. Baltimore will retain possession. And stolen by Junior. Here's lights out. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the impact stops. Okay, oh, yeah. bang, bang. An impressive sequence Such that has them fired up. Here's May. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Los Angeles in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We'll return shortly. Glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. Breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Clippers. They're setting the tone early with their defense, keeping the pressure on and taking chances. And they've got a bunch of steals to show for it. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of turnover. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. On the floor for Baltimore. Wizard out there with Ingram. Then it's Magician. Then it's Jordan. And it's May in at the two-guard spot. And he recovers it. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. Yeah, guys, but where was the box out? No excuse letting him roam that freely on the glass. Lights out. It's blocked. And they'll keep possession. Baddest one passes to Insanity. From past the arc. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. And then that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with the comfortable move. Drop up two there. Uh, the timing couldn't have been better on that assist. Ball's not loose. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Can't finish off the lock. Los Angeles leading by eight. Here's baddest one. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last timeout, five timeout. baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. So timeout called here, the first for the Barons. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Now, that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here. Group getting ready for Baltimore. Williams, he's checked in for the Magician. Kemp comes in for the Wizard. Jordan, he's checked in for Ingram. And it's Doc in for Jordan. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. ABC's checked in for the baddest one. Captain Clutch comes in for Lights Out. Big Daddy's checked in for Junior. And Rain Man subbed in for Flash. Williams gets the bucket. Oh, that's a well-deserved assist. Not every player has the vision to make that feed. And it's out of bounds to the Clippers as the Clippers retain possession. Long range from the inbound. It's rebounded by Stevenson. Baltimore trails by 12. Now 
Now the pass to Williams. That ball. I see that time from Stevenson. Stevenson's got three assists in the game. Here's Rainman. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Sean Kemp picks one up right there. Yeah, just nice strength there. And then just off with the shot. The Clippers shooting their second and third free throws tonight. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Oh, this is a big fella who has no problems at the foul line. I mean, very smooth touch on the stroke. And Insanity picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Team foul. Here's Williams. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Kemp dishes to Williams. Oh, and the jam by Williams. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. I, I don't mean style points. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. Rain Man passes to Captain Clutch. Fires the three. Not going to go that time. And the Barons the other way now. And here's Jordan outside. It's good from long range. Jordan's got nine points. That's just a product of good pass work. I mean, nice team basketball right there. Passes it to Underwood. There's 117 left in the first half. Sinks the three-pointer. Out of their last five makes, how about all five from long range? And it's out of bounds. The Barons able to retain possession here. Slim, he's checked in for Baltimore. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Big Daddy's checked in for Insanity. Baltimore trails by 13. Knocked away. Here's Rain Man. Pass to ABC. Launches a three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row now here's Stevenson he's covered closely controls the rebound and puts it back up and in and those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them the pass to Underwood here's Big Daddy passes it to Captain Clutch six on the shot clock the Clippers need to get off a shot. Launches it. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Stevenson outside. With one on the clock. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers. Feeling good about their 17-point lead heading into the break. They have been sharp from beyond the arc, putting on a terrific three-point shooting display. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Here with Tom. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again. Welcome to our postseason halftime show. Ernie Johnson along with the Diesel and the Jet. Well, for the Clippers... They have rebounded very well from their loss in game one and have their eyes set squarely on evening this series up. What a response to a difficult opening game of the series for them. And taking a look at the Clippers, Kenny, what did you see out there? They played smart. They took their time and limited mistakes. When you value each possession, you eventually get the shot you want. But when you lose the ball, you have no control over the destiny. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. When you look at their multiple areas of weakness, for me, it starts with their perimeter defense. This organization, chaos, a lot of wide open looks. They have to communicate better and stay connected to the shooters. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And 
We return again with more playoff action from the Western Conference semifinals. It's been a clinic out there by Big Daddy. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And, and as they can't slow him down, you know what you do? You keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. This is the right game plan. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Checking out the group for Teron Liu to start the second half. Big Daddy is out there with Captain Clutch. And it's Rain Man, and it's ABC, and it's Big Daddy in at the two guard. Here's Rain Man. It's up a three. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Pass to the Wizard. Here's Jordan. Here's the three. No good on that one. Here's ABC. And they call the eight-second violation. Too much time getting it up court. That's one of the few mistakes they've made tonight. They've limited turnovers. That's helped them grow this lead and keep it. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. Baltimore trails by 18. Stevenson with the bounce pass, and it's Williams with the jam. Well, just think what the score would be if it weren't for him. I mean, he's been amazing, but a one-man show isn't going to get you a win in the league. Kemp with the steal. Here's Jordan, the good-looking shot from the wing. Jordan's got 11 points. Uh, who knows what this score would look like if he wasn't on his game tonight. The pass to Big Daddy. They get a hand on it. And throw the ball out of bounds. Jordan touched it last for Baltimore. Magicians checked in for Williams. And it's Jordan in for Doc. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Baddest ones checked in for ABC. Itar comes in for Captain Clutch. Junior's checked in for Big Daddy. And Flash is subbed in for Rainman. Everything going to plan here to start the third. 80% shooting thus far. Junior from deep three-point territory. And the Clippers miss again. Pass to the Wizard. Inside. Got it. Good job in the low post. Lights out. Scott his second basket of the night. I mean, he knows exactly what he's doing. He fakes the shot and zips the pass over for a wide open look. Pass to Big Daddy. And stolen by Jordan. Pull from the top of the key. That shot, no good. That's high-quality defense right there. Reading the situation, reacting, and making that a very tough jump shot. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. There's the pass to Magician. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Oh, I dunk you very much. <laughs> he, he can really fly, and you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two points. Haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. 158 left to play here in the third. Timeout, timeout, timeout. called the Barons. Yeah. Look at Big Daddy. What a contribution. Look, they can't leave him alone for a second on the perimeter. Not the way he's shooting a three tonight. For Baltimore, Ingram comes in for Kemp. And it's Slim in for Jordan. In Sanity, he's checked in for the Clippers. Passes to Slim. Outside Jordan. The 17-footer. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. And he should thank the key for those two points. Nobody paid much attention to him on that play. Here's Junior, and Junior throws it down. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Baltimore trails by 15. Knocked loose, and now the Clippers on the break. And that one is hammered home. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and, and the other team in scramble mode. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And that block was something. It's the playoffs, and every possession and defensive stop matters. 
Oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Los Angeles? They base their offense around the three-point shot today, and that was the right move. It's been a huge weapon for them all game. Yeah, and another thing, they, they've created a lot of turnovers, but they've also been able to convert when they've gotten out in transition. Looking at who's out there now for Baltimore, Williams comes in for the Wizard, and ABC subbed in for Jordan. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assistant. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. I mean, it's time for him to take over. He's played it cool long enough. And I think he realizes that. Insanity, and he banks in the layup. Insanity's got five. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. <laughs> yeah, they're pouring it on right here. Trying to give the opposition no line at the end of the time. And hard to decide which is better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley -oop. Here's Flash. He has six. No good from the wing. Ingram passes to Williams. Off target from outside. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. The Clippers on top. They lead by 14. And time for the short break and stay right where you are the fourth quarter. And let's take a listen now to Coach Teron Liu. Not make the right play like you've been doing all night, all right? If you're going to try to help and tag, you got to make the right play, finish, or make the right play. Well, you know what, Greg? You got to like what Coach Ty Liu is saying, telling his guys to take what they see. You know what I mean, keep it simple. Don't rush it. Let's just stay focused. Really good advice. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. They've got Ingram. ABC is out there with Slim. Then it's Magician. And it's Williams at center. Pressuring the ball and making a play that created the opportunity. I mean, it all starts from the defensive end. When you're active and willing to gamble a little bit, the payoff can be big. Pass to Slim. Got a piece of it. He swipes the ball away again. He's been on the attack defensively, leaving nothing on the table. You're right. It is the postseason after all. And you look at that all-time playoff steals list. He's moving right up the ranks. Kemp's checked in for Baltimore. Doc comes in for Ingram. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Big Daddy's checked in for Junior. Baltimore trails by 21, and Baltimore calls time here. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Four rotations. I mean, slow help and just not enough toughness on the interior. They've got a lot to talk about. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Driving inside, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And how about the look at the midair theatric switching hands before the slam? Wow, added just a touch of class to that throwdown. The pass to Underwood. Here's ABC. He's guarded by Williams. Latrey. Baltimore with the rebound. Williams has got seven rebounds in the game. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And this is a guy, Sean Kemp, all the talent in the world. Could be a perennial double-double machine. Just a matter of staying focused. The first free throw is good. And some changes here for the Barons. The Wizard, he's checked in for ABC, and it's Jordan in for Slim. And so he makes both from the line. Los Angeles leading by 21. And the foul called on ABC. And that'll be his third foul so far. Fouling like that isn't how you get back in the game. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Captain Clutch passes to Underwood. Takes a three. Baltimore with the rebound. 
Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Rain Man passes to Big Daddy. Doesn't go that time. Great tee that time from Kemp. Now, here's Stevenson. T right on him, and that one is good. Given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. Yeah, no question. It takes skill and a certain level of fearlessness. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. No, oh, but his teammates love that kind of energy, fellas. I mean, don't nabbing another steal. And his unbelievable run of steals continues. Now tied for the most ever in a playoff game. And you can't call it carelessness by the offense at this point. His activity level has forced the issue. And he's now tied with the answer. Allen Iverson, what a night. My goodness. Say, say that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Rain Man gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. And the Clippers lead by 21. Passes it to the Wizard. Here's Williams, stolen. Here's Rain Man, powered down with both hands. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stunt. Oh, yeah, bang, bang. An impressive sequence that has them fired up. Outside Jordan. Pass to the Wizard. Beyond the arc. The Barons keep it going. A new 14-second shot clock. And, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Fans are piling out the exits. Obviously a huge win here in game two for the Clippers. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And this win has really got to feel fantastic, guys. It That's evens up the series now at one game apiece. Yeah, I mean, it's a whole new series now. But best of five, if you will. You never want to lose two to start this thing off. But right now, they've got something to be happy about going into game three. And what a huge standout performance it was for Rain Man. Oh, man, anticipation, instincts, energy. All his tools were on display tonight as he lit the place up. And, and the whistle blows. Foul. It's going to be on Rain Man. That is his first foul of the game. And Baltimore going with a whole new group out there. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Baddest ones checked in for ABC. Marcus Morris comes in for Captain Clutch. George is checked in for Big Daddy. And Norman Powell subbed in for Big Daddy. And it's blocked. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Here's Rain Man, covered by Rubio. Basket good. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yeah, there's no doubt as to who was the better team. I mean, they, they proved it with this one. And the pass to Rainman. There's the triple. The second chance effort can't connect. So the Clippers winning this one easily. Just a massive victory, Greg. Maybe it's overstating it, but I think this was a game they had to have. And I don't think it's overstating it. I agree with you. I mean, going down 2-0 would have given this team a huge hill to climb. But now at one game apiece and with some momentum, this is anybody's series. It's time for us to say goodbye, and we hope you've enjoyed our second-round coverage of the NBA Western Conference playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports.